You're listening to the AfterBuzz TV Network. Now the largest new media platform on the web and your number one source for after-show entertainment. Very good, Of the AfterBuzz Studios in Los Angeles, California, and streaming live on Ustream, this is AfterBuzz TV for How to Make It in America. We'll break down tonight's episode and get you all the latest How to Make It in America news and gossip. If you'd like to buzz in on tonight's show, you can buzz us at 424-256-1729. That's 424-256-1729. And now, picking up where the show leaves off, and the buzz continues, it's After Buzz TV for How to Make It in America. Yes, yes, Woo! yes. Welcome Woo! back. Feels good. Oh, we're, we're a little sad, though. A little sad. Two things. Um, It's the last episode it of is. this season, and we're also sad Ronnie Jr.'s not here. <laughs> Marty's bawling over there. It's okay, though. It's okay. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Roddy got his uh, vacation started a little early this year so for uh, so Thanksgiving. Uh, shout out to him. He's over uh, vacationing somewhere. In, in Mexico, a, right? Yeah, Cabo San Lucas. So jealous. Oh so, my gosh. yeah, shout out to him. He's on a horse. Uh, he's horseback riding or something like that and kite what? flying. Who would choose that over how to make diving. it in America? I don't know. He, he's living life. He's living it in Mexico now. <laughs> but uh, we still got your recap, your after buzz for how to make it in America. And uh, we start off right in the uh, heart of New York, on the New York streets with Cam and Lulu. And Cam is talking to Lulu. And I think, you, you know, we don't even see Lulu that much after this. Lulu isn't, ha she hasn't been a very like significant character. We know that she's Cam's new boo. Something like that. But you know, but she's not that know supportive. Her, I don't know her contribution. Still. Yeah, so we're, we're just like closing off that storyline. Cause I feel like I'm watching carefully to this uh, episode to see if we're gonna get a third one, you know, a third season. Right, right, right. I think that's what's on everyone's minds. We still don't know, but um, we move on w forward with Ben into Yossi's office. And Ben has his water, you know, he's like, did you get your water? <laughs> like, just just stop with it, all right? And uh, he says Cam wasn't feeling well this week. You know, yeah, Cam's not lying. here. Yeah, he's lying. He's yeah. lying on Cam. What is that? He's too embarrassed to admit that Cam's not really trying to boop with Yossi. So this is another reason why you, uh, you know, don't like Ben. Is that it? That you just feel like what he's not man enough? Okay, Ben, the real person in real life. Um, <laughs> I, I, this is nothing personal towards you, so don't take it personal, but Ben, the character, um, I, I can't deal with it. Like, yeah, I feel yeah. like he's a punk. I yeah. feel like he's a punk in every department. But, I, you know, he turns around a little bit. Um, Yossi tells him that he wants this logo to be designed with, like, a serpent as the Y. And that, to me, is just like, oh, they're going in on making Yossi as a, like, bad character at this point. I mean, Crunch? Yeah. <laughs> Crunch? <laughs> Did you really decide that you were going to give him Crunch and try to convince him that that's better than Chris? Yeah, And no. he called him out. Yeah, He yeah. was like, don't give me this garbage. You no, know no, dang no. well that but, Chris was better. Yeah, in the beginning, though, he wants to make sure that, you know, oh, okay, I got Ben right now. You know, he's going he's gonna to make this um, new logo. But then we go, uh, and I feel like this episode was a lot with closing off the uh, ties with Cam, Renee, the Rasta monster. Like that whole plot line was just like the big it was emphasis focused around, yeah, the Rasta monster on this. And so we go with Cam and uh, Renee with the uh, East Flatbush Caribbean League, <laughs> and they have um, they have the weed the weed spray, and they're just talking about you know how they're gonna solve this. And Cam is is telling Renee like, oh, I was trying to fix it, I was trying to help, and Renee's just like, stay out of it, stay out Cam of it. That's always makes things worse, does he not? He <laughs> yeah yeah. No matter what Renee says, he's going against it. But that's your that's your boy right there. That's I Cam. You, you, had your, Cam you had Cam's no, back. I, I thought. Do, no, I totally have Cam's back because <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm all about like rebelling. Yeah, so yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> okay. the, so I support his yeah, his yeah. rebellion. I'm just saying he never follows directions. He always gets Renee into some hot mess that Renee has to come and fix. Yeah, but that that's where I think that Cam and Ben are the same in that matter. Where it's like, yo. Ben even says, you know, I don't want to fail a million times over and over and over again. And Cam, he's the same cat, you know, like he's just trying to make make things better and trying to make things good. But he just seems he just can't. Ultimately, <laughs> in their core, like to their core, they are good folks. I all mean, of them. Yeah, even they Renee. all are. Even Renee. Yes, I love Renee. <laughs> he, he means good. Bless his little 
freaking <laughs> thug heart. Thug heart, yeah, that's it. The thugs need loving too, right? Right, <laughs> that's what they tell me. Anyways, um, <laughs> we move on to uh, Capo. He's uh, he's in the boxing ring. He's trying to practice, I guess, going to the pants. It's not going to be easy for for my white boy there. <laughs> that was hilarious. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my goodness. And um, he's saying it's going to be 53 days in jail. So, you know, we don't know if we're going to get to see that or not. And uh, he's talking to Ben and, you know, he says a line that I'm sure, you know, if Ronnie was here, he would have written this down and quoted right, it. So I got totally it. Right, totally a Ronnie line. Go ahead. <laughs> is, um, is not who you're in business with is, is uh, no, who you're in business with is more important than what your business you're doing. So, you know, he's trying to tell him that, yo, if you're going to work with Yossi, like, you, you know, you don't want to do business with him. You want to do business with Cam. Cam, right. Exactly. Who do you want in your corner at the end of the day? Yeah. Who do you want in your corner at the end of the day? <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh! If you saw my, if you saw my corner list. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. You know, we all got that that uh, Twitter, you know, following of people that you're right. like, these, these you're are the like, people I can day, trust. One day, you know, <laughs> these are the people I can reply to right. and not worry about. <laughs> That's true. Yeah, our, our Twitter list. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And then, um, then we move on to Rachel is back with Edie, and she's uh, you know, going to Edie and saying, I want my job back help me out or something like that you know Edie says the line uh, you know I found somebody younger than you and pay her and I pay half. her far yeah far exactly less. and uh, she she tells her and you know Edie's in this a little bit but she says something uh you know to find your passion and uh move with life and try harder and I thought that was just like wow this is Rachel like the character that we all you know go to and correspond with kind of like everybody kind of relates to Rachel a little bit and she's just saying you're not even trying hard enough mm -hmm. like try harder I just was like whoa her going back to Edie was a cop out that right? was that was her like in her little humility saying I'm sorry take me back she already messed up <laughs> Did, Edie would be dumb to hire her again yeah. just because you know it was ridiculous like you had to have known that you, you just you don't go back to your old boss like that. At the end like, of the day, they're still friends. And uh -huh. I think that Edie respects their friendship. But yeah. that's why she's like, little girl, you, you got to find your own way. Stop coming back to me. <laughs> she was like, oh, you know, I, I I got so inspired by the Neanderthals, that way of life. And, you know, I, I was trying to be good. Like, well, try harder. Like, you know? <laughs> Sometimes you need people like that, though. She gave it like a week. <laughs> yeah, right? Try, try harder. Sometimes you need people like that in yeah, your you life, do. though. You people kick you, know? you in the butt. I call, uh, I call my girlfriend my number one hater. Because she always tells me, yo, that hey, doesn't man. look good. Don't walk out the house like that. I appreciate that so much. I'm just like, yo, I need, you need haters you, in your you life You want sometimes. people who aren't going to kiss your butt and who are going to keep it real with you and and put you in check and let you know. Mm. We call it constructive criticism oh, that's because the they love okay. you. They have your yeah, best yeah. interest in mind. And there's a lot of yes men. Mm -hmm. And we don't need more yes men in our circle. No. So Edie, congratulations. Edie kept it real. Thank you. Edie kept it real. That's right. Shout out to Edie. And uh, somebody else who's also keeping it real is uh, Debbie talking about baby names. <laughs> you, did you write? Did you catch some of those baby names? I didn't catch the baby <laughs> names. I was like, wait, what, did, what were those names she said? They, they were pretty ridiculous. And uh, Renee wasn't having any of that. And he started to tell Debbie, yo, I'm going to this bottling plant in the ATL, Atlanta. Why? <laughs> Why? Maybe hooking up with some Every basketball wives. We don't know. So <laughs> does he lie to? Why does he lie to Deb? I mean, it's not necessary. She's already said, "Look, I love you. I'm not going anywhere. Just be 100 with me." Mm -hmm. And for whatever reason, he still feels like he's got to either protect his name, you know, protect his mm -hmm. his you know, or her opinion yeah, of yeah. him. I don't know what it is, but something will not let him be up front and honest with her. Maybe he's just been that character, that guy for so long that's like uh, it's almost difficult to just tell the truth up front like maybe it's difficult for I him. think he loves her so much that he's so concerned about losing her mm -hmm. that it's hard for him to keep it real like mm. he's being a yes man as opposed to oh, keeping it keeping real, it real. Mm -hmm. I see well he's he's about to change we'll see that. <laughs> <laughs> he gives it realer than real that's for sure um, then we move on. Ben is walking down the street. And, you know, it's funny because I was, like, looking for those Ben and Cam scenes just to be like, yo, Ro Ronnie loves these I Ben know, and Cam nice scenes. So we didn't have any of that. Nope. We didn't have none of those. We actually saw a lot of scenes with, like, Cam and Domingo. We saw the scene with um, Ben and uh, Enzo, the guy from, from Yossi's place. Mm -hmm. so, but we didn't see the Ben and Cam scenes. I love Cam and Domingo's relationship mm. like I believe them um, yeah yeah I mean not and this isn't about their acting this is about their characters like yeah. I see people like that in real life Ben and Cam Likewise. not so much it's like mm, how did you guys become friends yeah but Domingo and Cam I feel like we all know some friends that are oh, kooky like know. that that yeah. are, get themselves in trouble uh -huh. <laughs> every week yeah yeah and you got to bail them out of something and they're, they're rolling down the street right. in, a, in a different car <laughs> <laughs> like how do we get this car this week dog? yeah right exactly and uh anyway so Ben is he runs into the Neanderthal line and Tim 
shouts out to him like, yo, I can get you some for half price off the truck. <laughs> like totally douchebag, right? Yes. <laughs> the audacity. Yeah. I was just like, how could you? And he's like, oh, how's Crunch, by the way? He knows the name of their line isn't Crunch. Like, yeah. I, I don't know if he was trying to just be a jerk off um, or if he really like maybe overheard mm, like maybe Ben and uh, Yossi talk about Crunch. But that's mm, like a insult. Crunch? crunch? Come on now. I don't know. I, I think I think he was just trying to be mean. You, just, so you think yeah. it was intentional? I think Yeah, I think it was intentional. But you know what I like about his character is that we know that he's a jerk and he's trying to be mean, mm -hmm. but he's still playing the cool, nice guy. Oh, that's a good point. Yeah, you know, he's he not is. playing it like a blatant, like, at, mm -hmm. uh, butthead. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say the other uh -huh. one, the whole. Yes. But um, the way that he's playing Thank you to our iTunes playing, listeners. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the way he's playing the character is is mm -hmm. is very, you know, trying to be honest and nice and good guy, and he's really not. Yeah, which you almost wish, you know, you, you run into characters like that even in your personal life. You're like, oh, just... Just be mean already. You, you don't right. none of this like half stuff. He's you, killing him with kindness. Yeah, no, <laughs> and throwing in his jerky innuendo I, <laughs> every now and then. I don't. I don't need any of that in my life. But anyways, Ben and Cam are rolling in the Benz new new car. I don't know how they got that. They were riding around in an escalator or something before. And um, you know, I really think that that's like the new Ben Cam scene was like Cam and Domingo. Yes, they were I, I was feeling it. And then later we we jumped to Ben smoking with um, Enzo was his name I believe the guy that works with Yossi. Inzo, yes. Yes. Okay. Inzo. So he was smoking with him. He was just chatting him up, like, yo, you know. And it was almost like, ah, oh, is this guy the new Cam? Like, is Ben just giving in? And no, no, <laughs> <laughs> it's not What's happening. No? He's not being replaced. No, no, we, no, it's yeah. not happening. Can nobody? Can well, later, Cam. later we see that, but yeah, I definitely. <laughs> <laughs> you're like, I'm not having my Cam I'm written off the show. Definitely not. Not at all. And then uh, Domingo um, and Cam, we cut to them at the. Uh, East Flatbush Caribbean League. I'm getting that name down. Uh, finally, it's East so Flatbush long. Caribbean League. And um, I just think it's hilarious that Domingo's with his dog. He's just rolling with the, with the dog everywhere. Like Domingo's, he's, he's becoming laughable. one of my favorites. It's almost because laughable. Because he pl is playing his character like mm -hmm. to the fullest. Like oh, I yeah. love, he is embracing this like kooky, zany kind of crazy fun yeah. guy just like do whatever it takes right. like yeah i'm a dog walker like we're, we're gonna go take care of some uh business with respray <laughs> guns like the mafioso whatever is getting involved oh but i'm still working right i, I still got i'm still walking a dog right, right now i'm making money while we're doing this <laughs> you gotta respect that and then uh but they're in there and you know domingo says yo if, you, if, you, if something goes wrong just right. say the key word pumpkin or something Pumpkin. Yeah, where'd that come from? And Cam goes in there and, you know, he tries to talk to, um, what's uh, Eric LaSalle's character's name? Er uh, uh, Everton? Everton. Yeah, Everton. Everton. So he tries to talk to Everton and he just wants to be peaceful about it. And he even says, yo, I didn't come in here to, uh, I wanted to prevent violence and bring money to your organization. And Everton kind of like, whoa, okay, money. But at first, Everton was going to have him, like, killed yeah. <laughs> when he came in there because at first he thought I think that he was a threat that mm. I don't know if he thought that maybe he was coming on behalf of Renee yeah. and that he was trying to start something and that's why he got so defensive mm -hmm. but as soon as he saw that Cam was like no no like I'm c coming at you with you know open hands yeah, like yeah. please just accept my apology it's my fault he started to lighten up a little bit when he said that he was going to bring money to the organization. Yeah. He started getting down to business. Mm -hmm. That's when everything was like, okay. Yeah. What you you mentioned about? money to anybody. They're right. going to be like, what are you talking about? Right. And um, he talks about, he, he's, and I don't know where Cam gets this from, but he's saying he's going to bring him $20,000 in cash. Yeah. Well, what was he saying? The twenty thousand. I don't. I don't. I don't know. He said he was going to bring him twenty thousand dollars in cash. Oh, because he wanted to sell the spray to in return for the spray. Right. So he wanted to bring the spray back and get it out of their hands so that they don't have it to use against Renee. And um, but I, he was going to originally sell the spray somewhere when they were trying to. Yeah, he was originally going to sell the spray Canada before. Or something? Where yeah, were they going they, they were with going, the spray? Um, I think they were going to a different state to okay. sell it at um, University of Massachusetts okay. at UMass, I think. And um, so, anyways, he wants the spray back and he'll give him cash. So, you know, they're going to go with him and find out that, but they're not going to let him go until they get the cash. So they're going to go with him and see if he can do that or not. And uh, Renee goes to, so then we flash forward to Renee about to break into Everton's house. At first, we didn't even realize whose house it was. We're just like, oh, no, something's bad's going I on. I had a feeling that it was Everton's. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Because you, you, we're he's going to fight, you know, with of violence. Of course. So yeah, exactly. I knew we somebody know was not. about to get hurt. At, at this point, we know Renee's motives. Right. Like, we know Renee is turning back into that character. You he's, leave him no choice. Right. 
I guess. I, Unfortunately, I think he, he still could be kind of a good. You nice know what guy. it was because he was trying to make peace with Everton, but when Everton threatened him mm -hmm. and said, you know, you you need to give me this certain amount of money and then it, the issues will go away, mm -hmm. it wasn't so much about the respect for the Caribbean um, league organization. Mm -hmm. Yeah, then it became about his pockets, and that's yeah. when it became disrespectful, and that's when Renee knew, okay, you're trying to play me. Yeah, he was just trying to make money, and it wasn't for the, you know, the community right or all exactly that. Just for the money so anyways we, he goes in there and uh, his thugs grab some guy you know we cut to them being in the uh the warehouse scene like this is getting really dark now and you know they're they're giving the speech yo renee loves the caribbean people he you know has a lot of caribbean, <laughs> friends. caribbean friends yeah you know he loves jamaican food <laughs> and we're ready we to see jerk chicken before we came yeah right he's about <laughs> to take off the they have the whoever they stole from the house they got a uh, bag on kidnap um they have a bag on his head and right as they're about to take off the 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 bag we see it's malik right and now what how how is uh malik related to everton i didn't really catch so that. what you didn't catch was <laughs> that malik was in everton's room mm -hmm. now when you're in somebody's room at 4 a.m mm -hmm. What are you doing oh, in somebody's room okay. at 4 a.m.? All right, all right. It's like the T-Pain song, right? <laughs> <laughs> Four, or was it 5 o'clock in the morning? <laughs> all right. That, yeah. was, that was when I was – at that moment I said, mm -hmm. oh, snap. Yes. Renee, you better use this. You have something yeah. now to hold against Everton. Yeah. Because obviously he's in an organization that is about respect mm -hmm. and he – He's not going to want that kind of news no. getting out. Just as Renee doesn't want the news about the weed spray getting out. Correct. So we kind of got – they're on evil – at even playing fields. What now. I thought was um, was interesting is when he knew. Okay, I've found somebody that you care for because Millie had expressed to him in the in the kidnapping like I'm very upset with Everton because he didn't come home tonight mm -hmm. and he's out with somebody named Cam trying to sell bottles of yeah yeah weed spray. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I thought that was cute that Renee knew instantly. Oh, I know what this is. Yeah. I'm gonna use this in my favor. Exactly. And um, so we're, that that scene went pretty hard, and you know we're going very heavy with the uh, the Jamaican the Rasta monster you know idea and topic there. But then we flash back to Ben, you know, late at night working on the design. Then he comes into uh, Yossi's office, right? And he shows him that's what he presents a design, crunch, crunch by Yossi, crunch. That sounds like really? a candy bar. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not wearing that. You're shirt. not gonna wear crunch, or right? Or the snakes, which you had. That yeah. that honestly was insulting. If I was Yossi, I would have uh -huh. been insulted with that design. Mm -hmm. I already don't think that Ben's a snazzy dresser as it is, so yeah, his right. credibility in the fashion arena mm -hmm. is already questionable. Yet he wants to make it in this industry, and so he has this dream. And so when he presents this new design mm. yossi's not buying it he's like no i know what you're trying i know exactly what you're doing mm -hmm. you're trying to get over on me crunch alone just you know he didn't think ben ben could sell it like you know i just don't think ben he he probably could have came at yossi a little bit stronger and been like i got this really cool idea like the way he tried to sell it to yossi was also kind of you know, half-assed, if I could say that. Right. He was just like, yeah, it's, it's cool. It's hip. Like, <laughs> you, you're not even selling me on that, Ben. Like, come on now. That's why he was like, shut up. Let's get Cam aboard. Yeah, How exactly. much do I need to pay you? Right? He And he offers him another advance check for $200,000. At this point, when somebody offers you 200000 go. I'm just like, yeah. what are you thinking? Like, what are you thinking? Because yeah. Ben, I understand what Ben's angle is about the whole, you know, Crunch and crisp and how Ben Cam was trying was. to win everybody. Right, he was trying, he was trying to, to make everybody, everybody happy. happy. Exactly. I kind of relate to that though. Sometimes Aww. I try, I try and uh, please a lot of people, and you know what? It, that gets you know, tricky. Just like this, it doesn't work out. Yeah. And, and I realize that you know there are certain priorities that you have to take in life, mm -hmm. and you have to you know you, you set, set put your ducks in in a line. You know, as they say, you have to put things in priority and put them in order, and that's the only way that you're going to go further. You know, if something's not working out. And uh, you realize that, hey, this isn't getting me anywhere. Mm -hmm. You just, you got to throw in the towel or, or put it aside or something and, and go for what, what works. And crunch doesn't work. But the fact <laughs> that he still presented crunch to Yossi uh -huh. after he had already had the conversation um, with the two sisters about uh, Nancy mm -hmm. having lied about the way that she partnered Yossi and Ben up. Oh, with right, them, right, yeah. with Crisp, I kind of felt like, okay, you already see that you're going into business with people who don't have your best interest in mind and they mm -hmm. will lie to you. At that point, you should have 
already cut your cut your ends right oh there. yeah he should have walked away already so you know he's trying to make it uh, please everybody and yossi says yo i can make your life very easy if you let me and then um you know ben says i don't want to have anything to do with this yossi starts ripping up the check and he's like yo i you know could have made your life very easily very easy <laughs> and um uh says i treat people very differently that i do business with right. than people that i don't and he's like, yo, I saw you. I know what's been going on. And Ben, oh, my God. I knew he was going to do that. Unfortunately, I'm sorry. That was such a TV moment. That was a really? Hollywood moment yeah. where you accidentally confess before the other person admits no, no, you no. what the she issue is. No, no, no. She still loves you, he says. I see that on ah! every single show. I'm mad yeah. that How to Make It in America did that to me. But because <laughs> that was the obvious. I knew that he was going to accidentally spill. As and I hate when things are kind yeah. of predictable. But... <laughs> Whatever, I knew that that was necessary. We just had to move the plot along. You know <laughs> right, what I, mean? I knew yeah. that's exactly what they were doing. Yeah. Don't trick me. Don't do that to me. Like, I'm a real viewer. Don't yeah. try to get over on me. Make it a little bit harder. Exactly. But, you know, he confesses. We get that classic TV moment. They slip. Oh, what the F are you talking about? Oh, no, no what, what are you what talking, are you talking about? about? Yeah. <laughs> Throwing a little slapstick comedy there. Right. But it's okay. And um, he, Yossi was talking about him using Enzo. Right. And he's like, Enzo is my property. That's my guy. Everything he makes is mine. You use them. And Ben, and ben confesses Nancy to Nancy. Nancy still loves Nancy. you. Nancy, yeah. So Yossi, Yossi doesn't, didn't seem too mad, but then he punches him in the face. <laughs> yeah, he thought about it. He was like, you know what? Nah, I'm not going to let you disrespect me like that. Yeah. And Ben deserved deserve far more than and that. And you jumped. You, you didn't because expect it. Because I didn't it. see it coming. <laughs> yeah, Yossi was really chill. Yeah, yeah. And then all of a sudden, I hear the hit and it's the swing, like, and I'm like, yeah, I didn't see it coming. I yeah. didn't see the hit coming. So he he got out his aggression, and uh, that wasn't a Good. classic TV moment. It was it was real, <laughs> right? That's, that's what we're looking for. Yeah, that's anybody would have done that. Show. I definitely believe anybody would have done yeah, that. Yeah, anybody, <laughs> especially Renee. And uh, you know, we go forward. A lot more violence is coming. Renee and Everton at the showdown at the uh, river. This was real, uh, real good, real heavy. He and called. He had called. Uh, Everton and had told him that well he had pretended to be Malik on the phone. <laughs> hey, Benny. Right, uh, and I definitely thought that was cute because that's mm. where you got to hit people sometimes mm. is in their love life. Mm -hmm. And Renee at that point had already recognized that Malik was his boo. Yeah, and so he was using Malik against him as he should, because mm -hmm. um, you got to sometimes fight crime with crime. Yeah, and <laughs> we, we predicted that. Yeah, and that showdown was I thought pretty good. I thought that when but you know what was funny is when Renee had come at him with some sincerity. Mm -hmm. um, and what did he say to him? He said um, something about love. He, he was just like, you know what, you have to, you know, sometimes you have to let love kind of lead Love the way. will change your life if you let it. There you go. It just happened to me. I yeah. wrote that down yet. Uh, all right, there we go. <laughs> Ronnie Jr., I'll be proud. Ronnie. <laughs> Watching from Mexico. Uh, yeah, you know, he. We, we see a little compassion from Renee and, you know, Everton even <laughs> jokingly. I don't know if it was a joke or not, but he offers one of his goons to write a jingle right. for Rasta Monster. A, a rap. I, yeah. I, but <laughs> did you see Cam's like eyes light up? I saw no, a little I didn't. spark when yeah? he when he heard him rap. I saw a little spark. He, he you think I, Cam is gonna Cam be a rapper? A, no, I think that Cam is gonna have another idea. Let's be managers too, dog. Oh, and okay. manages artists. <laughs> Cam always has. <laughs> Your an Cam idea. is doing everything. Yeah. He's, he's, he's <laughs> running the world. He's gonna be managers now. Well, maybe maybe they're gonna be managers because right now it's not looking like their future is in fashion. Ben shows up at Nancy's office mm -hmm. and you know confronts her. And this, we we see Ben just really angry. He's going balls to the wall, just like, yo, Nancy, you weren't there for us. You didn't have our back. Nancy, you're cute, you're ambitious, but I'm not sure your future's in fashion. Right. Man. And I just was like, I took that to heart. I was like, yo, a lot of people will say that to you. Like, yo, you're you're cool. You, you know, maybe I'm not as cute as uh, Brian Greenberg, but you know, you, you got you got some things going on <laughs> and um, you hot. know, you you've got you got a nice job, whatever you do, but it, it just just stop doing this. This ain't your future. And it, it's just like, yo, like And and well the the realism of that was that she didn't really believe in these boys. From beginning to end, she didn't really believe in them. She she believed well, she didn't believe in she liked their product. Don't you think she saw something in them? She didn't Bendel? love it. Yeah. She liked them, but she didn't love them. Mm -hmm. I felt like it was kind of like a, I'm gonna entertain this, and this is gonna be a in you know a, the mm -hmm. next means to an end. Just a little business venture. Yeah, I, might do. I don't think that Nancy was ever pushing them. I don't think that she ever had their best interest in mind. She saw the opportunity and she took it, mm -hmm. but she wasn't crazy about them nor about Chris. Yeah, because she didn't jump on it right well, away. Well, this isn't either. her line. You know, these guys started it. They have the blood, sweat, and tears into it. Right. And you know, when you start something, and that's why it's so difficult to start a small business. Is it's difficult to find other people to work with you 
that have the same passion as you. And that's why so many managers and owners are just so passionate and, you know, almost just driving to uh, their employees is because it's, you know, these, this is what they started. This is what Ben and Cam put into it. And Ben, as the designer, it's like, hey, he doesn't want to let this go. And right. Cam is just like, he's the businessman. He's like, oh, we can make it. We can sell to anybody. We don't need these people. So you know what's crazy is I have a friend who works for Ralph Lauren, the clothing mm -hmm. store. Um, and, um, you know, he was talking to me today about the show because he's a huge How to Make It in America fan. He has, like, awesome. tons, years of experience in sales yeah. and clothing and buying and stuff. And he was saying that he totally feels like Cam um, is, the, is a little bit crazy in his idea of giving up you know the the business or the you know he that he's not willing to 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 work with Nancy and mm -hmm. Yossi. And so he said something to me, have you ever heard of throwing out the baby or giving up your baby? No. I've never heard that saying uh -huh. either. But he explained it to How me explain that? as if although you may have a project that you are crazy about or something that you believe in such if as it, crisp. You, Chris such, such as Chris, uh -huh. if you don't um if you're not willing to like part with it in the beginning or whatever, you can't move to the next level and be successful. Mm -hmm. And so sometimes mm -hmm. you got to give up your baby, you got to give up like your child uh -huh. in order to to move forward. And that's like with anything in the industry, whether it's acting or music, sometimes you gotta you gotta just you know throw it out and yeah. be willing to make the sacrifice. And and so take the Ben approach and almost just say, hey, you know what, we'll do it and give us the money. Right. And I understand Ben on. Uh, I honestly, although I'm not crazy about Ben, mm -hmm. I would have done exactly what he was doing as well. Yeah, I think a lot of us in in this situation would have gone that way. You know, you you work so hard for something that you you want to see the payoff. Right. You know, it's sometimes it's really difficult to you know stay strong to everyone's crisp, your own personal crisp. Right. You, you know? go with Chris, you make crisp, and then you do you know Chris part two. Yeah. <laughs> by by Ben and Cam. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then you do crunch a little right. Down crunch the line. delicious. <laughs> like you do something else. But crunch isn't gonna sell, you know. Like maybe you know it, it is good. It is inspirational. So you do toast, like you, you toasty toast. or something. That's a good <laughs> you know, one. I'm just saying. S Spicy Mari's new line. Hey, toast. wait till I see toast come out next season. Watch. <laughs> there we go. There it is. And um, but then we see poor Rachel. And Rachel is just uh, a mess. She is, you know, last episode we saw her eating soup out of the oh, ladle was itself. Oh, that lentil soup or something? Yeah. She was eating some, yeah, at soup. At the liquor store, the liquor couldn't store. pay for <laughs> it, you know, doing uh, drugs. This episode we didn't see her on drugs. She was not on drugs. So, she was props to her. <laughs> begging for forgiveness for her job back. Yeah, and... <laughs> that was a little sad. But uh, Tim shows up at her house and, um, you know, he says funny, like, oh, yeah. She's like, how did you get here? He's like, oh, well, I used to be an undercover cop slash Lulu told Lulu me. Lulu told me, yeah. I thought that was really cute. <laughs> that, I liked him. That, that was He's witty. funny to me. Yeah. And uh, he apologizes. I thought that was really good he that he was sincere. He apologizes but insults her all at the same time. It's another saying, one of those double-handed yeah, things. Saying, I, you know, I meet girls all the time. We're trying to sleep with me because I sell T-shirts and <laughs> I have a clothing <laughs> line. So maybe you were trying to do the same thing. And then yeah. also, you know, my girl's into threesomes but she didn't think you were attractive like, oh, wow. yeah, <laughs> it's I like know. insult after insult <laughs> but I'm sorry I'm sorry I'm things sorry, didn't work though, out that sorry you about your the... job yeah because I thought your article was really good yeah and, and you know he appreciates that she did the article on the the Neanderthals way of life and offers her a job with the Neanderthals and um, then shakes her hand and says shit's gonna get weird so I have a problem with that <laughs> because I don't know if his intentions are really because he thinks that Rachel is this amazing person and that she has that much to contribute to the Neanderthals. Mm. I think that secretly, Tim the jerk down mm -hmm. inside yeah. is like, I'm going to get to Ben through Rachel. Mm. And you've said that all along that yeah, Rachel, whenever she like, gets a chance, is going to mention Ben. Yeah, I think that this is um, something with Tim versus Ben. I yeah. think that that's his arch nemesis. I mean, come on now. Neanderthals versus Chris. Yeah. And now you're taking Ben's girl. Yeah. Who you know he's still. He's like, oh, by the way, how's Crunch loves. doing? Like, he, he just totally doesn't yeah. want to have anything to do with what Ben is doing. Right. Yeah. But yet you are going to let his woman come work for you now. Like, Rewind a couple minutes ago while uh, Marty and I were watching this. She's like, oh, he just shook. She just shook hands with the devil. Yeah. I was like, oh, I did not see that. Yeah, she's this going into business. Like, do you think Ben's going to be okay with that? She, but Rachel wants Ben Do you think Ben, ben still back. has feelings for her? I thought Ben was at the door, first of all. Oh. I thought it was going to be Ben. I did kind of think that, too. You're right. I, thought, I did okay, think that. okay, Ben's coming. You know, we're going to wrap up this um, plot line here. But what they did now is is telling me there's got to be a season three. You know what I mean? Like, just looking at that, I was like... This is there. There's some more plot line. This going is on why here. Rachel can't work for for the Neanderthals because you can't 
first off, be in love with someone and then work for their major competitor mm -hmm. and want to see crisp excel, but yet you're helping Neanderthals do better mm -hmm. because she's now going to be contributing her services to them. But then again, Ben's not offering her a job. So. Yeah, Ben's not there to help out. <laughs> you got to take the opportunities where they leave. He's um, he's out there partying. She's still with, got a rent to pay. Yeah, exactly. He's out there partying with uh, Capo and Cam and and Domingo and all them. Capo's at his a uh, going away party. Right. I thought that was awesome. I think she should totally <laughs> take the job if she doesn't want chances with Ben. But if she wants Ben back. Yeah, and we don't know what her intentions are. We don't know. She's just like she's been going crazy, and she's gonna take anything at this point. Right. So which, the party. Yeah, so um, at the party, Capo is about to get kicked out, and um, he's getting kicked out of his own going away party, but then somehow <laughs> he gets a Capo. shout out from the DJ. I thought that was cool. That I thought was that was cute. true to life, because, so you know, there's, there's times where, you know, you're at a party or whatever, and, you know, the DJ gives shout outs, and sometimes, you you know, you know who who's the, you know, guest of honor at the party right. and stuff like that, and you know, you know what's up. When the DJ gives you a shout out... It's pretty real. It's pretty. It's pretty big. Exactly. And um, uh, let's see. Ben wants to talk to Cam, but Cam's not having it. Yeah, Cam was kind of giving him the cold shoulder. I definitely felt that. Mm -hmm. And and Ben was trying to be humble and you know, can I talk to? You? Can I buy you a drink, dog? Like, can we just have a moment? Mm -hmm. Cam wasn't trying to hear it. Lulu came in and he acted like. Ben and this exist. was after after Ben had already turned down Chris by Yossi. He already told him, like, no, we're not doing he this. He was trying to explain that to him. Yeah, and I thought that was a, a little messed up by Cam, but, you know, it was, pro it was real. You know, that's, that's what it was. The show was being real. Um, flash forward, Renee is at Debbie's house. He's asking, where's Debbie? Where's Debbie? Where are you? And it was his stuff that was boxed up, right? Right. And he calls her, and she is in kind of a desperation on the phone. Saying, you you know, I can't do this anymore. I don't want to have the baby with you. And we don't know where Debbie's at. Yeah, and you know what? That kind of scared me because I hope that, well, I think that the writers were trying to make us think that maybe she was going to get rid of the baby. Mm -hmm. I don't know if she's going to possibly abort or were, they, or were mm -hmm. she just trying to say, I don't want to raise the child with you. I, I what don't was know. Your it was kind of confusing because I... Honestly, the way it sounded, I thought she was just on some sort of verge of like jumping off a, a cliff or something. Like she no, was on, on a rooftop no, no. or something. Like yeah, I don't, I don't want to go through this. Yeah, because she has another child to raise. Yeah. <laughs> I hope she wouldn't be doing that. That's true. But something along, something drastic along the lines of like, yeah, aborting or getting rid of the baby. I definitely thought you she sounded very, very drastic about it. Definitely, it wasn't. I uh, hope she doesn't do that. No? Uh, uh, no. No. And I hope, I hope You're with Ronnie. You want the spinoff? The Renee Debbie spinoff? Well, I, th I think that uh, she really does love him. Mm -hmm. Only thing is that I'm tired of her leaving him. She tries to break up with him every single episode. Mm -hmm. You're not going nowhere. So <laughs> stop trying to break up with Renee. Yeah. No, yeah. I, I think that they're going to... Um they're they're gonna have some good times ahead of them. Hopefully, um, we we go to the back to the club scene. Capo's having a great time, and all of a sudden the the lights come on, or every Domingo shouts out, "I got this party in Chinatown. Let's move this." Bam! <laughs> I thought that was cool how the how the director uh, did that. They just you know pause, everyone froze, right. cut to Chinatown, the party there. So it was cool, and finally Ben gets to talk to Cam, and uh, he tells him, "Yo, I turned down Chris by Yossi. This is um." You know, but I think this scene was almost equivalent to what we saw last episode with Ben and Cam, the like where they were butting heads like, yo, I, you know, I don't want to be a failure. He's like, well, I want to keep the line and stuff like that. And this was that resolution of that. I think it continued mm. exactly that that fight. I and agree. it was a uh, really close. And uh, but when Ben apologizes to him and says, hey, guess what? Like I. We're not going to do the line after all. Cam was kind of Cam was going to walk away. Mm -hmm. He was he was about to step to the side and be like, okay, well, good for you. Yeah. It wasn't until that Ben humbled himself and said, look, these this is my real feelings. Like this is between you and I and our friendship. Let mm. me address that. Yeah. And he even said, you know, I never thought that we could make it alone. Yeah. You know, he he opened himself. He gave himself a little vulnerability. vulnerability. There's that key word right there that you got to have sometimes is, um, you know, I didn't think we could do it, but you know, if Cam. And this is where, you know, I, I kind of agree with you that Cam is really the stronger character in mm -hmm. all of this. Because, you know, if Ben is coming to him and saying, yo, you were right, you know, like, we we can do it. We can make this. And, you know, Ben apologized saying, I, I, I just didn't want to fail for the millionth time. And right. so that was cool. They, you know, they, they're all good. And then... This guy Andy comes in and explain to me Andy because I wasn't quite clear on how he came into all this. Andy is which one is Andy? 
He's the one, the manufacturer, I guess. That they're oh, gonna... oh, oh, okay, Andy. Okay, sorry. <laughs> I'm like, wait, Andy? He's only been in a couple of the episodes. Uh-huh. Andy's role was that he was the uh, going to be the original rep for Ben and Cam. Mm-hmm. And what Ben and Cam did was they saw opportunity with Nancy. And so they left... Bit, they left Andy for mm-hmm. Nancy to oh, be, to be okay. the rep for them mm-hmm. so that she could pitch them to the different buyers because at the time Ben really wanted to get into Barney's. Oh, of course. And so they they kicked him to the curb. They had mm-hmm. already shook his hands, decided that he was going to be the rep for them, giving him some samples, and then they asked for the samples back from Andy so that they could give them to Nancy. Oh, okay. So they kind of, you know, and obviously they didn't burn their bridges. Obviously Because not. Andy saw an opportunity and uh, came back. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he was like, I still want to work with you And he y'all. comes in all happy. Yeah, he comes in, you know, we're going we're gonna to do this. We, we're going to ship to Gadzooks. Yeah, what are we doing say, next, Gadzooks? guys? <laughs> yeah. Is that how you say it? And uh, what are we going to do next? You know, and then they show the jeans. Domingo and Capo got those jeans. <laughs> oh my gosh. Just ridiculous. I thought that was funny. How do you feel about the fashion on this show? Do you do you believe it? <laughs> like, do you believe like would you it's, wear the stuff that Cam well, and you Ben know, are I, pumping well, out? I I believe that they are starting a fashion line, and you know sometimes I I you know I work in downtown LA, and I've been into a lot of the uh, sweatshops and the buildings there, then the the fashion district, and. Uh, you know, when you're starting off, you do have those simple lines. It's just a hoodie. And I have a lot of friends who have fashion lines and, you know, watch lines that I'm making and stuff. And <laughs> <laughs> they they start really simple. And, you know, you don't become Barney's right out the gate. You know what I mean? And so those hoodies, I believe, mm-hmm. the jeans, maybe not so much. I, I don't think that they should have gone with that little detail. What was it? Fucking crisp? Yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I thought that was a little whack. But, you know, you do... You know, you you have to start out making your own line with what works. And there is something that, um, you know, my getting a little deep here. We'll go to commercials. We'll wrap this up. But um, (laughs) my uh, my mom, who I think is watching today. Hi, mom. Hi, mom. And uh, we're going to shout out their moms real quick. And um, to my mom. Hi, Martha. (laughs) Exactly. And uh, but she always told me, you know, when I was having a tough time uh, doing college, I was writing for the newspaper and I wanted to be this big journalist Mm -hmm. and, you know, make it to to TV and stuff. And, uh, you know, I was like, they don't they don't agree with what I'm writing. And, you know, they, they say it's too out there and stuff. And, you know, she said, sometimes you have to conform a little bit to what they want mm. in order to get yourself further. Right. And I, and I that's the, do agree with that. And that, But that, again, that, that might be the Ben thinking of, yo, go with Yossi, mm-hmm. do crisps, you know, get, give up your baby. It's, it's the give same up your give baby. up your baby line, right? You know, <laughs> everything comes full circle. Hey, guys, here. I hate to interrupt, but we have a caller on the line. Ooh. Uh-oh. <laughs> so, caller, what's your name? Where are you from? Hello, caller. Caller? Uh, we're going to have to try and get them Is back on. Is it Ronnie? They just Are you dropped. playing a trick on us, Ronnie? Uh, Our call just dropped, so we'll get them back on the line. Okay. We Continue. will get them back on the line. But I anyways. was just smashing the fashion on how to make it in America. <laughs> 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 only because, and the reason that I, only only reason is because. Well, you're not getting a Zoom um, York hookup anytime soon, right? <laughs> oh, sorry, guys. But honestly, I don't feel like the show shows us too much uh Forward fashion. Forward movie fashion. I don't think that they're pushing any envelopes. I don't think that Crisp is. I, the reason I love How to Make It in America is because I love the storyline. Mm-hmm. Don't necessarily believe the fashion moves. Yeah. It's nothing that we've never seen before with Crisp. Mm-hmm. And Cam and Ben don't have. They didn't go to fit them. Yeah, they don't yeah, have exactly, any right? fashion <laughs> credibility. And then they don't dress fly either. Yeah. And I don't think that they're looking in GQ magazine every day. No, that's so right. So I don't really know if like where they're getting their fashion sense from. Well, you know, hopefully by the end, the, this uh, this is the last episode of the season. We've, you know, separated our ties with Entourage. But I still feel like there's that one last comparison of like, yo, Entourage was was fly. These guys had made it already. And and you believed it because you got to see the fly cars, the, the flash. The, the lifestyle. Flash the fashion, the lifestyle, and everything, and this is 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 gritty. This is these guys don't have the dopest fashion line in in America yet, and I do think that that's a lot more real than as if they were, you know, Ben Brian Greenberg himself. You know, shout outs to him though. <laughs> is, um, <laughs> you know, he's a, he, they dress them simple, and I think the the um, fashion coordinators on the show realize what they're doing. I don't think they want. You think they're these. doing this on purpose? I, I do think so. Hmm. I, I do I think that they're doing it I would love to know what their purpose. angle is. Call yeah. in. Let us know. Yeah. Now <laughs> that we consultant. know we have the, uh, the call-in capability, thank you, uh, DJ <laughs> Jesse Dan, DJ. And um, let's, uh, we'll finish with the last line that they say. We'll go to break, and then we'll uh, talk about some predictions and everything right after okay. the break. They say we're going in. We're going in. We're going in. We're going in. Meaning they're going ham, which they're, is They're going ham. Commercial. <laughs> <laughs>
Going in. After Buzz TV. Hi. I was once like you, a lazy, angry loner whose only joy was watching TV and surfing the net. And like you, after I'd see one of my favorite TV shows, I'd be so excited and have so many questions that I'd actually have to talk to my douchebag coworkers about it at the water cooler. Then I discovered AfterBuzzTV.com. AfterBuzz TV produces after show webcasts and podcasts for TV series of all kinds, like post game wrap up shows for all your favorite TV shows. AfterBuzz TV hosts are industry insiders who break down episodes of shows, take calls from fans, and interview cast and crew from each series with over 60 different after shows from Boardwalk Empire to American Idol to Vampire Diaries to Real Housewives and more. Now, after a night of TV, I can ignore my stupid co-workers, who I hate, and go straight to my desk and watch or listen to all my favorite AfterBuzz TV after shows and have all the TV fan interaction I need. Thank you, AfterBuzz TV. AfterBuzz TV. What do you want to buzz about? Uh, all right, that's that's good. What do you want to buzz about? We want to buzz about how to make it in America. And uh, once again, we do, as uh, Ronnie Jr. would say, which shout out to Ronnie Jr. on vacation this week. Woo, woo. Thank you to our Ustream listener or Ustream followers and iTunes listeners. There you go. And um, uh, we appreciate it. Thank you also to uh, Maria Menounos and uh, Kevin Undergaro and DJ Jesse J in the booth letting us know about the uh, callers. And if you are trying to call in, go ahead, uh, keep calling. We'll try and get that connection back. But right now, let's go with um, some predictions for how to make it in America. <laughs> there now, it is. You're after Buzz TV. Crystal ball thing going on here. Crystal ball. All right. The okay, predictions, predictions. The, the big predictions are is there going to be a third season? I'm a little nervous that there might not be. No, I don't only say reason that, was Maddie. because they didn't give us a glimpse. I mean, maybe they haven't shot it or anything, but they should have at least given us a teaser or something. Uh-huh. You know, why didn't you give me like, why didn't you leave me hanging? And, on and, to and they tied the bow up. It was almost like a, you know, one of those Christmas gifts where the bow is just kind of loosely tied. Like yeah. it's not, you know, those ones that are like, oh, you can't open it. This one's just kind of like, it's tied enough where it's like, if we don't get a third one, fans might be kind of happy. You know happy. why? Because the way that they left it with. It's too um, positive. Um, it's well. They kind of closed each of the like a few of the chapters mm-hmm. with uh, Renee and Deb. They're breaking up. Yeah, it's kind of over there. Mm-hmm. And then Capo's going to jail, yeah. so we might not see him. Mm-hmm. And then who else is um? Okay, well, Lulu and Cam yeah, are still together, Lulu, but Lulu's she, out of the question. She's we only been in a couple yeah. scenes. And so I kind of feel like oh, then Nancy's Rachel, been written Rachel off. Rachel got her job. Nancy's got written off. Yeah. Yossi's off. And Ben and Cam are happy. And, you know, credits to Ronnie Jr. about the uh, the show that might get the spinoff. Debbie, I don't think that plot line was tied up. You, you know, think so? I, I think that it's almost like, yo, where is Debbie? Like, I, I still want to know. Yeah, where I do want to know where Debbie is. I want to know what's going on. Is Renee, you know, he is he getting back with her? I don't know. I still feel like Renee has such strong and uh, multiple plot lines himself yeah that you could almost spin that off but i instead of a spin off i really do think they're going for a third season you think so i think so i, I hope, hope so, so. <laughs> i totally hope so i i would love that yeah but you know they just they, they didn't give us any cliffhangers you know no. there was nothing that was dramatic at the end for me to be like <gasps> i have to see what happens yeah there wasn't anything too cliffhanger <laughs> but um uh let's see R- real we quick we want to give our shout outs everybody's yeah, so on the we, show we we don't know if we're coming back for a third season oh, i know <laughs> wait if this show doesn't come back it's a done deal so go ahead go on to uh tweet at hbo and uh let them know you guys want to see hashtag how to make it right and uh you know you want to see a third season you want to see us back for a third season of after buzz uh, for how to make it in america and uh real quick we want to shout out to all the people that have uh done the after buzz with us including dustin felder t lopez Asia, Vanessa Cruz, Jason Olive. I was actually flipping through a magazine this mm-hmm. weekend, and I swear I saw Jason in it. Oh, I, really? I think I saw him in some sort of You probably did. If I, you pass by any street, you're going to see Jason Olive and yeah. the GNC commercial. I mean, like, he's in everything. And the billboards for GNC, his, everything. his new show, the, the Tyler Perry one. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. I didn't see him yet, but... You'll, you'll see him. You'll see him. Um, it, he's uh, November 25th, I think, is his show. Oh, okay. Um, cool. That's when the first see, episode is going to... Yeah, that's yeah. when it's going to... Air. And uh, who, who else have we had on? Um, Azure D. Azure D. Azure D. Johnson. Yes. And then also, um, you said Asia Franks and then Lauren yes. Turner. Lauren Turner, And yeah. Fallon Mercedes, Fallon. both from NicoleBitchy.com. What's up, Fallon? 
<laughs> that she was a hottie. Uh, she is a very pretty woman. <laughs> <laughs> she is. She is. And then um, what was, uh, I'm sorry, Ronnie, your, uh, Je- uh, his friend? Oh, yes. Um, the, Huberto. Uh, Cuban. Humberto. 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 Whatever he wanted to go by at that <laughs> moment in time. Very funny guy. We appreciate. My Cuban cutie. Yes. Shout out to you. Exactly. We appreciate everyone who uh, came onto the show and uh, After Buzz with us. After Buzz TV. And uh, especially big thank you to uh, Ronnie Jr. and of course Phil Philip Zvitek. Yes. If I can say his name correctly, thank you for uh, having us uh, do this show. And Maria Menounos, I tweeted at her. All right. Um, that because she was talking about her BlackBerry versus iPhone problems, mm-hmm. and so I tweeted at her, letting her know that I too have the struggle of which one I should go with. Yes. And um, she probably didn't know who I was at the time, but uh-huh. I tweeted again. Oh yeah, by the way, I do your How to Make It in America for After oh, Buzz okay. TV with you guys. Uh-huh. And she tweeted back, "Thank you for being a part of the show." Oh, awesome. I appreciated that. That is really awesome. Because you know she has a busy schedule with entertainment oh, tonight. Of and all. course, yes. So thank you for. Acknowledging me, my Yes. Guess. Thank you all <laughs> at uh, After Buzz for acknowledging us here on this show. And um, yeah, we really do hope that there is a third season. We definitely so do. Ronnie anything... Jr., we love you. We miss Ronnie! you. Ronnie! Couldn't be here for the finale. Yes. <laughs> but uh, thank you all. Thank you all to our fans. And uh, have a good. Follow us on Twitter if you want to stay, you know, up yeah. to date What's with us. Spicy underscore Mati. And my uh, Twitter is at Jesse F. Daniels. And of course, at Ronnie Jr. Media. And uh, thank you all. Have a good one. Thanks, guys. Bye. From producers Kevin Undergaro and Phil Svitek, engineer DJ Jesse Janity, and the entire AfterBuzz TV staff, we would like to thank you for listening to the AfterBuzz TV network. If you have questions or comments, be sure to buzz us at info at AfterBuzzTV.com. And you can find us on Facebook or follow us on Twitter by searching for AfterBuzz TV. Buzz Buzz you later! The views expressed herein are those of the host only and do not necessarily reflect the views of AfterBuzz TV or its owners or principals.